What's going on beautiful people? It's your boy, the one and only. Welcome to the Free Entrepreneur channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you something really simple. If you're a blogger, a publisher, and you use WordPress, this is for you, okay? I'm going to show you exactly how to remove the page title in every of your single page if you're using Ocean WP theme on WordPress because when you install Ocean WP on WordPress, you always have this page title that does not want to go away no matter the setting that you're trying, right? And so today I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Sometimes it's really boring, especially if you're looking at it on the, from the phone, to have a, a page title like that blocking the view, right? You want to have the header of your website, the menu, your logo here and then right when someone click on the post you want to make sure the person starts seeing directly the the beginning of the content but if you have a page title here and it, if you have as well an, an image here then it's not optimal i'm going to show you exactly how to remove the page title but if you want to keep it i'm going to show you how to make it more beautiful like this for example such that such that you have the page title but then you have a background image that is relative to the post that you're that you that you're blogging about right so without really wasting your time let's start okay the first thing you will need to do if you are you have two ways there are two ways to to remove the page title in all of your website or a specific page the first thing you do is that you you come in the back end of your website you come on appearance and then customize you click on customize once you click on customize it will open a window like this the next thing you do because you want to remove the page title is that you come on general option right on general option you come here on page title this is what you want to do now look at this this is the page title right here right this is the page title right here now if I click here it's show on all device, show the page title on all device. What you want to do, you want to select hide on mobile and tablet, right? First, it will hide on mobile and tablet in such a way that if you click here on tablet, you will not see it. If you click here on mobile, you will not see it. Now, it's still on desktop, however. The next thing you want to do is that you want to click on style default and you want to click on hidden okay you want to click on hidden what it will do it will remove the page title and this is a lot prettier i mean not necessarily prettier but it gets the visitors to the to the to the post quite easily and some even have the page title in the front end of your website in the in the home page of your website you don't want to have page title on the home page of your website okay because this is really annoying now the next thing you want to do there are the other way make sure you hit publish okay always make sure you hit publish if that's what you wanted now let's say i keep the page title okay let's say i keep the page title here i keep here on default right i keep i show on all devices and i keep on default and i and i hit on publish if you want to keep the page title okay make sure you have something beautiful like this for example if you if you visit this website like lionel.bilspace.com and if you click for example this is a this is a blog about football and then you see this is this is the page uh title but it has a background image that the owner put for this post and then if i click for example on this other blog for example what it will do is that it will open the blog and then it put the a background image that's relative to the post right that's relative to the post how do you do that first before showing you how to do that let me show you the second way on how to remove page title from the back end of your website if you want to remove page title again from the back end of your website, instead of using appearance and customize, what you want to do, you want to come on all pages, right? You come on pages and all pages. Let's say the page title is on the home page, for example, right? You want to make sure you click on edit, click on edit. You will open the, the page and then you scroll down toward the end. You come here on title. 
disable or display page title. You say disable, enable. If you enable, that's how, that's how you, you enable or disable it on one specific page. Let's say you want to put it on the blog page, for example, but not, not on the home page. Then you come here and you disable on home page, you hit on update, and then you go on the blog page and you enable it right so it's up to you then you can even have subheadings you can even even display you know it's up to you it's up to you what you want to do always make sure you hit on update or publish after you do something okay now if you want to keep the page title and have a background image like this really 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 simple it's very beautiful let me show you that how it looks like on a mobile if i click here and i show you how it looks on a, about an iphone you see, it's 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 really pretty, is, isn't it beautiful? How it looks on a on a mobile. You see, someone knows exactly with the background, the future image in the background. Someone knows exactly what the post is about, all right? And it's a lot, it's a lot more visually attractive, right? So that's if you want to keep the page title. Let me show you how to do that. What you want to do is you want to still come on appearance and customize. After you do that, let me let me just go back. Okay, let me just go back. After you do that, you come here on blog. Okay, you come here on blog, and you want to click on single post. Okay, single post. You want to click. This is how it happened. You click here on future image in page header. I click here on future image in page header. This is how it, it is now. Instead of having the single boring like page title, it will just import the future image in page header. Now, now what you want to do is you want to reduce the size. Let me show you how to do that. Okay. What you want to do is you want to remove, you want to reduce the height of the page header. Okay. You reduce the height such that it looks like this. Now what you want, the next thing you want to do is that you want to reconfigure because right now the default setting on Ocean WP is that the for each blog post, it will first push the image, the future image first and then the content, right? So you want to do, you want to unclick this, you want to click on this so you disable the future image at the beginning of the post, right? And so the next thing, so this is what you have now for each of your posts. It will put the future image in the page title, which is a lot more attractive. And then you will have your post. Let me just publish this and show you how it will look like for every single post. Okay. So if I publish this now, I click on this post, for example, you will see how it will open the post. See, now it opens the post and you put each of the image in the page title and also if you want to keep it make sure you activate the the breadcrumbs okay so how do you activate the breadcrumb breadcrumbs actually facilitate navigation so you want to do you want to go back on the general options and then page title and then you click you go down and you activate enable breadcrumbs because when someone reads the post they might go back on the fitness categories and then read the other posts related to fitness but and if you don't if they don't have the breadcrumbs they might just get away from your website so you want to make sure you activate the breadcrumbs and you show the item title okay really important this is if you want to keep the blog the page title make sure it looks beautiful if you don't want to keep it then just apply the two methods that i showed you to disable it again this is all about providing value i cover everything from e-commerce blogging seo entrepreneurship um instagram growth tip facebook growth tip i i do that because i want to provide value to you and i want to do it for free i don't want you to pay like one thousand dollar to get a course online and then it's just a scam i want to show you that you can actually improve yourself and your business with information that i can provide you for free again if you feel like this is the type of knowledge you would like to receive make sure you hit the smart you smash like button and you hit the subscribe and until next time make sure you press the notification bell as well and until next time take good care of yourself bye